Kali is the Hindu goddess of transformation and rebirth. She's widely known and worshipped in India as a Hindu deity. In terms of universal feminine consciousness, Kali is the great transformer. Kali in Hindu uh, philosophy is thought of as the prime creatrix, the creator of all really. And it's said that she sprang from the brow of the goddess Durga as a divine healing response to the toxic or oppressive masculine forces. So she was really said in Hinduism to have been sent as a feminine healer to heal and rebalance the earth. Kali is the goddess of rebirth, of death and of destruction. This sounds incredibly frightening and those that don't really understand goddess energy um, really can be quite fearful of Kali. But really at the root of Kali energy is enormous love because she is really here to strip away all the illusions that you have that are blocking you from your deepest divine self and your deepest purpose. Kali is the stripper away of anything that is getting in the way of your light, your love and your ability to be powerful in the world. Kali doesn't announce that she's going to come into your life. She doesn't send you a letter or an email saying, hey, by the way, I'm going to be ripping your life to shreds right now and you're not going to know what on earth is going on. You're going to be plunged into the unknown. But that's really exactly what she does. And, you know, if you're in this moment going, oh my goodness, I do not want to get anywhere near this energy, it is understandable. But, you know, what happens is, as it happened for me, is that Carly thundered into my life. I felt like an earthquake was really kind of ripping it up because things were breaking down and doors were blocked and things were falling away from me and I felt very, very pared down and stripped back. And what really happened is, even though it brought up a lot of fear for me and I was really in the unknown, I was also f had a feeling of being very held and a feeling that I was really getting down to the bare bones of who I was. And I also learned through having lots of extraneous things taken away from me that I was able to focus on what really mattered in life, that I was really being taken into a kind of pure, deep core of, of really universal love that isn't really about material things. It's not even about lots of things that we kind of depend on or think we hold on to as attachments to give us that feeling of love. It's about the love that is in us. I feel that Carly can really help you make sense of what is going on when things seem like chaos in your life, when you know your maybe your marriage is breaking down or you lose your job or your finances suddenly seem stripped back. Things that you don't understand are kind of paring down in your life and you're sort of forced to confront some things that maybe you might have been avoiding. You know, you might have to be very honest with yourself and really get to the truth of, of what you want, maybe what you're denying in yourself, what you're avoiding. But it goes without saying that the benefits of doing that are going to get you really in touch with your true purpose. And the other really important thing that Carly does is that because she's the kind of creatrix of all, she opens you up to every other influence in the goddess realm and maybe beyond that you really need on your journey to go forward. She will usher in every other sacred guide and support and influence that you need.